Get the mic. You can just, yeah, we can hear your question, please. Name, Don't wait, we're wasting time. Sir, I read about your investment in uh, Korean stocks for your personal portfolio. My question is, if you're managing very small amounts of money, like say 3 million or 10 million, will you still look for the Graham's approach for low PE and uh, you know, wider discount to book value? Uh, will you still look for these kind of situations if you uh, couldn't find any franchise stocks? Yeah, if I were working with small sums, I certainly would be much more inclined to look among what you might call classic Graham stocks, very low P's and maybe below working capital, all that. Although, and I would instantly, I would do far better percentage-wise if I were working with small sums. Uh, there are just way more opportunities. If you're working with a small sum, uh, you have thousands and thousands of potential opportunities. And when we work with large sums, we just, we have relatively few uh, possibilities in the investment world that can make a real difference in our net worth. So you have a huge advantage over me if you're working with very little money. But there are compensations to that, that on the other side of the equation. The, the Korean stocks you mentioned that I looked at six or seven years ago were companies where you could only put a small amount of money in. And I was sort of reliving my youth. I, I, somebody sent me a Korean a handbook of Korean stocks and told me that the market was interesting. So one Sunday afternoon, I did leaf through a couple thousand pages of Korean stocks, and I was sort of reliving my youth. I mean, you know, uh, other people look through old Playboy magazines or something like that, but I, <laughs> I, I, looked, I, I looked through these old manuals of, of, of stocks, and a number of com I bought a number of stocks in small amounts uh, from companies whose names I couldn't pronounce. But the stocks as a group were so cheap that you had to make money out of them. They were Graham-type stocks. And that's what I would be doing. I would be combing that sort of a list. Now, I, if I found a wonderful company that Graham wouldn't have bought, but I really was convinced about its future, uh, I would have bought that also. Incidentally, I've written in the last annual report about Geico. and. I bought that stock in 1951 when I had about $10,000. And Geico, I bought, or I looked at, because Benjamin Graham was the chairman of the company. But Geico was exactly the sort of stock that Graham wouldn't buy. I mean, it was selling way above book value and all of that. There was a certain irony in that, but I'm glad I did it. <laughs> all right, the gentleman right